now and then I am asked what tools do I use and uh, mainly I use Giants Editor. I also use different 3D modeling software and texturing software of course but that's not the uh, case in this video. Uh, I just want to show two very important um, softwares or tools I use for my everyday mapping uh, experience. Uh, one of them is Auto Hot Pie, and what it does is create a pie menu like you're maybe used to from Blender or Maya. Um, and essentially, what it does, all these items around here, they trigger a shortcut. And uh, the reason I do that is because I have a script from Vizel. He's also made a few mods for Farming Sim, actually. And he's been very helpful to figure out a way how to um, talk to different items in Giant's engine or the editor, uh, which do not usually have a shortcut. So you have like, yeah, create light and you can edit stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. There's no more shortcuts right here for menu items. So what his script does it looks for a menu item such as create and primitives and cube. So you have here create primitives and cube. No shortcut by default, but through his script, that's now possible. Um, and the the hot pie then can use these uh, shortcuts to trigger these items. So let's let's just go ahead and show you in practice. So now the auto hot pie is running and I can click my key on the keyboard, which will open the uh, pie menu. So from here, I can go new cube and lo and behold, I get a cube. And the default um, keyboard shortcut to move things to the pointer is control B, but instead I've mapped it to this pie menu. So I don't have to, um, use that shortcut combination. So that works all fine. Let's just delete that. Uh, but more importantly, this uh, collection of shortcuts lets me uh, run scripts such as paint on uh, the terrain or adjust the height along the along a spline. So I can just show that real quick. So I go for a new spline. I move it over here. Let's actually just start it snug here. And then I can move this node and I create a new node and uh, place it on the terrain. So this actually fires two. Um, uh, yeah, it fires two shortcuts at once create a new spline node and move to the ground. So let's just do something like that. Um, now I, I'd like to level the terrain right here, right? So I have my spline selected and I am going to run a script Weasel has made, which is um, spline setup. So it gives me a lot of attributes here, which is just perfect. Um, and I don't want to have much height here. And I can set up uh, the height, the smoothing level, and um, whether uh, how wide it should be and the width of the edges on either side. Great. And like you can see here, there's uh, some texturing stuff. So I want the center of the texture to be let's say, um, let's say gravel 94. By the way, I've renamed all these combined uh, materials. So I have numbers. So it's easier for me to use this script actually. Okay, so we have gravel in the middle and we could have um, gravel grass maybe on the sides and that's already set up by default. Now what I can do with the spline selected, mind you, um, I can run the script and spline paint. And there we go. Now we have a road, although covered with grass, but 
with masks, you can easily um, remove that. But we want to raise it a little bit. So let's say half a meter and uh, run script, spline to height. And there we go. Now we have our road. And just for the heck of it, let's um, let's remove that. Let's see, uh, let's remove that from Gravel US and uh, remove. And notice I did not go up here to click this. Huh? You're catching on. So there is actually a setup here. So I have my F keys set up to trigger these different uh, brush modes, which is quite handy. So you can go instantly from um, leveling or sculpting the terrain to painting the texture, which is crazy fast when you get used to it. But let's uh, let's make a key, and I've cheated a little bit, so I'm gonna undo deleting this. This will be Control G, and it will look for LS mod and get road co coordinates. Jeez, my my pronunciation today. Um, so what it does, it looks through scripts, finds LS mod, and looks for get road coordinates. Right. Um, so let's just save this and reload the script. And I will have to create that shortcut in the auto hot pie menu. So let's just create it right here. What was it? Control shift G. And then I, I'll rename it. Uh, get world coordinates, something like that. And then I go back and save the hot pie or pie menu. And then I want to call this get world coordinates is right here, just like I want it. So if I leave the mouse there, it will take a while and whoa, nothing happened. It just the opposite happened. So I got to figure out why didn't that work? But I put the wrong function key here. Control Shift. No, it should be fine. Maybe I did something wrong with the uh, right here. It should work. <laughs> oh, right. That's correct. I forgot. There is a little uh, bug um, because the hot pie and this auto uh hotkey thing does not completely talk together so i gotta do this it's a weird little thing but it works so reload the script this was actually a good example on uh, how to fix this <laughs> so you can see it live as well okay let's select the spline get world coordinates it will work a little and in the console, it prints the exact position of this item. It doesn't matter in whether it's within the hierarchy. It will always find the exact correct world coordinates. Quite handy when you're placing uh, placeables and whatnot. All right. I think that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, and that you learned something. I'll post a link to these two tools. They are both on GitHub. So um, yeah, I really recommend you, you get these. If you spend a lot of time in Giants Editor and you use it for mapping or other things for that matter, but for mapping especially, it's hands down the best I've ever experienced.